Dwaga and welcome to the channel. Um, first things first, before we do anything, I saw an error that I made in the previous video and I want to fix it. And um, where is it? I believe we hadn't imported the associate tile. Um, yeah, so that's just as easy as uh, doing this. And so that's fixed. Uh, the other error on associate tile is because, well, we haven't created the page. We haven't created the associate view page. And we won't be creating it today. We'll be creating it in another video. Um, what we want to do today is start working with the uh, pages, the various pages. And um, the first page you're going to do is, um, is the... Is the what? what what page we're going to do the associate list page yeah I'm just glancing at my other screen so that I can make sure everything is going on swimmingly yeah so we're going to work with our associate list page like so uh, made a few corrections there and so what we're going to do is come to the pages folder right click and create new uh, hit the dot file and create associate list we could call it a so associate let me spell it the, the correct way this time associate list like so hit enter and it's going to be a stateless widget so you do that and you say associate list page like so and as always you import uh, the prerequisites that will be flat material that like this and yeah, so we have the associate list page. This is the page that is going to contain um, contain all this. We're going to hook it up with uh, what's it called, with the associate data, particularly the get associate method, so we can get all the associate and list them. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, first things first, let's hook up um, this to the provider. So we come here and we say provided at all because we don't want it to. We want to hook in to the associate data, but we do not want it to refresh every time there's a change. So we would say, or rather, there are other mechanisms in place to do that. Associate data, like this, pass in the context and um, set listen to false. We're not listening for the changes, that is. And you're going to say get. Um, Let's import this first so that we can get all the import provider and for this import uh, associate data like this. So we're going to come here and we're going to get the, the method we're looking for which is get associate, get associates, all of them, get associates like this plural. So yeah, so we've hooked that up and you have to put it under the build context so it, has a, so it, it has access to the context. And what we're going to return is um, what you see on your screen to the right is the scaffold. And the scaffold is going to have an up bar of up bar like this. The background color, we agreed we're going to go with lime green throughout now. Background color is going to be colors dot light. Was it light green or light green accent? Let me just check what we did. Um, you put it in the tile or I wanted a bit of uniformity. So wait, cause the gray, the white. Um, hmm. Where did light green accent? So we uh, we decided to go with the light green accent. So yeah, so the background color of the up bar is going to be light green accent. Gonna give it a bit of elevation. You can see if you look here in between, you'd see some space. That's what the elevation is. We're going to give a bit of elevation, make it uh, 16.0, and the title. Uh, it's going to be text, right? And um, you're free to mess up with the mess with the UI. I'm just going to say, uh, to use what we what I built rather. Let me not use the royal we. Uh, text text 
textile is um, the font uh, font weight is going to be font weight dot bold font weight dot bold like this and uh, font size is going to be a 16.0 like this and after that we're going to under the upper we're going to put in place the body like so we're going to say center like this and we're going to have a child of column like this right and main axis alignment is going to be we're going to center everything main axis alignment dot center like this and we're going to give it children like this and the children are going to be we're going to use an expanded widget so we're going to say expanded like this and the child is going to be a container uh, which is going to have the another child which is an associate associate list so we're going to have um, build the superstructure and then put the associate list which contains the, which contains the tiles inside so like so and we are going to hit import package like this so there and um, the last thing is if you look to the right is the floating action button so we go to the where is the center end the center end is here and we have the floating action button which is going to be floating action button like this the background color is going to be colors dot light green accent the, so we're going to give it a tooltip uh, so yeah you see this is the tooltip so we're going to say uh, here add as you can see in the finished um, the finished um, the finished uh, product we're going to have a child here child is going to be an icon we're going to have an icon icon and the icon is going to be icons dot add like this you're going to see the plus to the right like this and on pressed right on pressed the method is going to navigate us you can see here when you click on pressed you are navigated to add an associate so we are going to navigate to a page we have not yet created we are going to have named named routes navigator the push named we are going to pass in the context and uh, the route name the root route root route name is going to be the uh, forward slash add associate page like this so yeah so that is basically the associate list page associate list page yeah so that's basically it okay now finally let's get rid of this niggling Let's just create a superstructure of this page because this page requires a bit of time on its own and we can create it in the next video. So let's just create this to get rid of this error and then we can call it a day or rather call it a video. Um, what we do is we come to the pages, we right click and we create a new dot file. We are going to call it associate view, associate view like this hit enter and this is going to be a stateless widget and this is going to be associate view like this and um, we're going to import the prerequisites the various prerequisites which is flat material that um, I usually as you may have noticed just like using it and then right clicking and importing it then so i won't import all the things here but we 
the associate view page is where when you click the um, the various like let me just show you like when we click this this is the associate view page so you see the phone number the age the join date the whether he is senior or junior and senior is marked by the thumb of the switch changes color to blue and i believe when he's junior let's edit it and um it turns to white so depending on white white's a bit white doesn't blend well with the background we could change it we could make it blue and black so yeah so that is it and if we go back oh we didn't save uh, you have to hit save so we do this and we hit save so from the associate view you can edit and you can also delete like we get this method um, when you hit the trash can or rubbish bin uh, you get this uh, a lot a lot dialog which asks you whether you want to delete and you can cancel like that or you can delete so that is the associate um, view and we could come here and um, it's on the it's on the tile right on the tile so when you click this is what when you click the tile it goes to the associate view let's right click here and import the package and we're error free for now uh, so that is basically the video uh, we have done everything we have started um, we set out to do and we have create corrected uh, we have created a page and we have corrected a few errors let me give let me put a few commas here so that it's better structured like this use that format uh, when you give commas like that that so can show the the structure of the code a bit better so yeah that's the video uh, thank you for watching as always like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video